in your life waiting for you to fall. There are some people in your life waiting for you to mess up. But I came to encourage somebody here tonight that we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. How many know God will look beyond your fault and see your every need? Even in the midst of trials, even in the midst of tribulation, God is a God that can make things better. But I came to encourage somebody tonight to let you know that the stuff that you have been through just this year, it may have cost you everything, but it was worth it. Has anybody in here been afflicted? Have anybody been through some pain? Have anybody been through some suffering? But understand what affliction is. Somebody shout affliction. Affliction simply means a state of pain or distress or grief or misery. A cause of mental or bodily pain, sickness, loss, persecutions. Everybody in here, I know you're saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, fire baptized. But if we follow you home tonight and really see the real you, we will see a person that has been weeping and crying, a person that's stressed out, a person on the verge of losing their mind. I don't know who I'm talking to tonight, but God want me to encourage you to let you know that if God be for you, he's more than the whole world against you. High five your neighbor and say, neighbor, this is my season of recovery. Is there anybody in here ready to recover your stuff? Or you ought to shout down your row and tell them, I'm getting my stuff back. If I got to go through hell and high water, I'm going to get my stuff back. If I got to lose some friends, I'm going to get my stuff back. Or you ought to have five, three people and say, go get your stuff. Go get it. Go get it. But understand, the Bible is clear to us tonight. As I got about eight more minutes to go here. The Bible said, before I was afflicted, I went astray. And I came to let somebody know here tonight, you're not the only one that went away from God. You're not the only one that went astray from God. Yes, I was raised in a family home. I was raised in a preacher's home. I went to church every week. I went to every Bible study, every digging board meeting, every trustee board meeting, every missionary meeting, every revival, every wake, every funeral, every wedding, every some y'all ain't saying nothing. I was church, 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 church. I didn't know what it was to play basketball. I didn't know what it was to go to the playground. But all I knew was church, church, church. But I'm here to let some Somebody know you can be in church all day and all night and still got hell in you but until you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross buried in the heart of the earth but early on the third morning got up with all power in his hands look at your neighbor and say neighbor yes I lost some stuff I had some stuff but I'm getting ready to get my stuff back. High five your neighbor and say neighbor I was afflicted but then the Bible said but now have I kept thy word. It's not the fact that I lost the word but the word was in me. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. I can't say I never sinned because baby all of us in here sin. Some of y'all sin on your way to church. You may not done no physical sin, but you got that mind. Thinking negative. Thinking carnal. But I'm glad to know that the God that I serve, he will give me everything that I need. But you ought to grab your neighbor by the hand and say neighbor. God, I feel like preaching early. But look at your neighbor again and say neighbor. It's good for you. Yes, it costs you everything but it was worth it and the Bible said thou art good and doest good teach me thy statutes 
I heard what you said, Brother West. When you said that your daddy taught you everything that you needed to know. I thank God for my daddy and my mother. Sometimes I did not want to hear what they had to say. But it was good for me. I found somebody and say, baby, it's all good. Oh, come on out of here. You got to understand that some things that was taught to us, we didn't want to hear it. But it helped us in the next dimension. But then the Bible said, the proud have forged a lie against me. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I thank God for everything that I've been through. But I really got to give some thanks to the devil. Because devil, I thank you for lying on me. I thank you for talking about me. I thank you for running my name down. I thank you for for calling me every name out the book. But tell your neighbor, say neighbor, look at me. I'm a living testimony. I didn't make it on my own, but it was Jesus who gave me this opportunity. Do I got some praises in here? I said, do I got some praises in here? Look at somebody and say neighbor, I'm a firm believer that when the praises go up the blessings come down but then the Bible said but I will keep thy precepts with my whole heart look at your neighbor I bought an eyeball and say neighbor let me help you tonight you ain't got to chase a lie if it's not the truth don't you worry about it if anything you ought to dance for the lies because the more the devil lie on you the higher you will go till your neighbor say neighbor every round go higher 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 I'm glad to know it cost me everything but it was worth it their hearts is as fat as grease but I delight in thy law but then they ended it with it's good for me that I've been afflicted I know it hurts I know it's painful but you still ought to wave your hands if I couldn't say a word I'll just wave my hands it hurts so bad but when I wave my hands it's an indication to God Lord I thank you for another day Lord I thank you for another opportunity but you ought to look at your neighbor and shake your neighbor's hand and say neighbor God can take your condition and make it a testimony to let people know how you got to where you are look at somebody and say you ain't seen nothing yet because they thought I was blessed tonight you wait about this time tomorrow you ain't seen nothing yet but I came to encourage somebody and I believe we gonna dance off of this but squeeze your neighbor's hand and say neighbor the devil can't kill what God wants alive oh that was for somebody right there you ought to high five your neighbor and say neighbor the devil can't kill what God wants alive I cannot die now I got too much to live for I can't die now I got too much going on thank you Holy Ghost but grab your neighbor again and say neighbor your assignment is bigger than your assassin I know the devil tried on numerous occasions to kill and destroy but I'm determined that I'm not going to let nothing separate me from the love of God because God is worthy of 
the praise. God is worthy. I found somebody and say, neighbor, God is worthy of the praise. Because when I look back over my life and I think things over, I can truly say I've been blessed. I found somebody and tell them I got a testimony. Well, how do you know you got a testimony? Because when I fall, he lifts me up. When I fail, he forgives me. When I am weak, he is strong. When I am lost, he's the way. When I'm afraid, he's my courage. When I stumble, he steadies me. For when I'm hurt, he heals me. When I am hungry, he feeds me. When I face trials, he's with me. When I face persecutions, he shields me. When I face problems, he comforts me. When I face loss, he's there. High five your neighbor and say, neighbor, God has always stood by my side. When I face death, he will carry me home. The good news is he's everything for everybody, everywhere, every time, every way. He is God. He's faithful. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor, that's why I'm going to praise him. That's why David said, I will bless the Lord at all times times and his praises and his praises shall continually be in my mouth oh magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together oh taste and see that the Lord is good high five three people and say neighbor the Lord is good Look at somebody. Give me two more minutes and I take my seat. But understand, it was good for me that I've been afflicted, that I may learn of your statutes. I may have some headaches. I may have some heartaches. But when I think, I said, when I think, when I think, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and and all he's done for me my soul cries out hallelujah I thank God for saving me David was a witness to let me know it was good for me that I've been afflicted that I might learn of your statues you ought to put your arms around your neighbor I feel the anointing in this place and embrace your neighbor and say neighbor be not dismayed whatever be tied God will take care of you get up out of your seat find you another neighbor and hug your neighbor and say neighbor be not dismayed whatever be tied God will take care of you find you another neighbor and hold them tight and say neighbor oh neighbor be not dismayed whatever be tied God will take care of you find you one more person and I promise I'll let you go and say neighbor say no 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 neighbor oh neighbor be not dismayed Whatever be tied, God will, I said God will take care of you because I get joy when I think about what is done for me. I get joy, 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 joy. When I think about what is done for me, put your hand on your hip, let your back.
don't slip. Point at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you don't know like I know what the Lord has done for me. He picked me up, turned me around, placed my feet on solid ground. I get joy when I think about what is done for me. I don't know about you. It cost me everything, but it was worth it. Put both your hands on your hip. Roll your head like it used to do back in the day and say, neighbor, you ain't got to tell me. I lost everything. I know I did because some of the stuff I lost, it was my mistake. But now that I learned the statutes of God, I know how to go and get it back because David said, shall I pursue? Shall I overtake? God told David, you shall pursue and overtake and without fail recover all. Say neighbor, this is my season of recovery. This is my season of blessing God. But I came to encourage you tonight to let you know it cost you everything but it was worth it. Now if you believe it was worth it I want you to do me a favor. Open up your mouth. Clap your hands. Give God praise. Open up your mouth. Give God praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Shout yes. 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 It was worth it. It cost me everything. But it was worth it. Give him praise. Like you know. It was worth it. Shout yes. Yes, 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 y